Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is one of the most anticipated films of the year after its original trilogy has such a big impact on pop culture nowadays. Even though my expectations were pretty reserved, I was still excited to see this new installment. So this is Kia's Reviews and this is my review of The Matrix Resurrections. I fly or I fall. Who the hell are you? You will remember me. But a long time ago, you changed my life. When you leapt off another roof. The Matrix Resurrections was a disappointing yet entertaining film. Straight off the bat, it's clear that there are issues and severe ones at that. However, this isn't a film that you should bypass entirely. If you're an in-depth fan of the trilogy before this, you're probably going to like deciphering the story of this one quite a bit, but when it comes to keeping up with the actual story for those who don't know every single aspect of the first three movies, it's easy to lose track of what's going on. It's confusing to a point, and then you have to basically forget about nearly everything that you've seen to continue watching the film. A confusing statement itself, I'm sure, but when a movie as big as The Matrix starts to lose its touch because of an overblown and a rehashed plot, it gets very boring very quickly. As much as I love Keanu Reeves and really found that Jada Pinkett Smith delivered a magnificent performance, I felt that the action was put on the back burner and the focus on these characters and trying to make ends meet after the open-ended and plot hole riddled the Matrix revolutions, there wasn't much there apart from those aspects. While trying to give a solid answer to fans for all of these questions, but also trying to hold up a runtime of two and a half hours for a new story, it's no surprise that this suffered at times. Specifically in the first half, the movie had a lot wrong with it. Straight up, the dialogue felt messy and unkempt, as if they had just borrowed a fan fiction and tried to adapt it to the screen with visual effects and music. I couldn't help but think that I was watching massive sections of the first film again, but in an updated setting to suit this outing. I'm all for character development in movies, but this took so long to get interesting. There was a whole half hour at the beginning to set up Keanu Reeves' character after The Matrix Revolutions, which is fine, but when none of this setup is going to be brought up again, or even referenced for the rest of the runtime, there's no need for the repetitiveness. The visual effects are without a doubt the best part of the movie, and within this sequel after 20 years type genre, my mind kept going back to Terminator Dark Fate. The characters, music, and visual effects were there, and made the film overly exciting, but didn't have anything of real substance. Originality and unpredictability was something the story even poked fun at, but this severely lacked in both of those areas. The music and the mystery behind some of the big plot points were interesting, but once they were revealed, the story began to be overlong and frankly quite boring. Set and setting, right? Oh, no. It's all about set and setting. After our first contact went so badly, we thought elements from your past might help ease you into the present. Nothing comforts anxiety like a little nostalgia. The second half doesn't save the film, but it's what elevated my final score. For a movie that bases its entire franchise off of memorable action fight sequences, this one didn't do that as much. Whilst it's very character based, the marketing was way off here because the action scenes, whilst exciting and amazingly choreographed, were in short supply and were too spread out. This is very much your typical action blockbuster of blowing things up, trying to keep you enticed in a weak story, while also only going to it because the main actor is very popular and was in the original trilogy. I found that the visual effects, the action and the music were the only good merits besides Keanu and Jada reprising their roles. I just think that this relied so much on nostalgia. For those like me who love the trilogy a lot, it was awesome seeing flashbacks of certain scenes from previous installments, but for the average viewer, it wouldn't be as exciting or entertaining. Films like Spider-Man No Way Home and Terminator Dark Fate delivered on nostalgia and references to previous movies because they knew their limit and did it in a way that felt right, but the way that the Matrix Resurrections handles the nostalgia was way too overdone, as it felt like it was just compensating for its lacklustre script. As much as there's a lot that I didn't like, there's definitely a part of me that adored the fun and entertainment that this provided. Sitting back and just enjoying such beautiful visual effects backed by incredible music really held the movie up and really made for one of the best cinematic experiences of the year. All the explanation you need. Uh, no, no, 
no, no, no, no, no, no, no. What do you mean, no? You wanted this. You did this. This was your idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it was a test. An experiment. Without a doubt, The Matrix Resurrections is riddled with flaws and issues, but that doesn't stop it from being entertaining, fun, and a good watch on the big screen. Movies like this are made to be seen on the big screen, so the visual effects and music can be amplified on a large scale and can be better experienced. However, if I watch this at home in a few months without seeing it on the big screen, I fear I'd like it less. It's a very mixed bag, so it's really up to you whether you end up liking it or not, but for me, this wasn't as strong as I was hoping this revival could have been. So I'll give The Matrix Resurrections a 6 out of 10. Thank you all so much for watching. Are you looking forward to The Matrix Resurrections? Let me know below. As always, be sure to have a look at my full spoiler talk and my non-spoiler review of Spider-Man No Way Home. This has been Kia's Reviews, signing off for now. Don't forget to like, follow, and obey.